after his boss cancelled his visit to SEK Embu Diocese at Kigari TTC in Embu County, Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa for the first time since the National Assembly overwhelmingly voted yes to his impeachment motion stepped out to honor the invitation. Gashagwa in his speech highlighted his confidence in the judiciary if the Senate upholds his impeachment. Take a look. Embattled Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa has now pinned his faith on the judiciary to fairly prosecute his impeachment motion. Speaking during a church service on Sunday in Embu, the Deputy President expressed confidence that the matter will be handled impartially as it faces the scrutiny of the Chief Justice Mada Kaumele's arm of government. He reiterated that the will of the people should be respected and Kenyans are the only ones who should back his ouster plan. Lakini sisi tuna imani kubwa sana na mahakama zetu. Our judiciary is very professional and I have no doubt in my mind that our eminent judges will protect and uphold the constitution, the rule of law, and always make sure that the will of the people is sovereign. He however urged Kenyans to maintain calm despite the outcome of the impeachment case in the Senate which will begin on Tuesday. Gachagua requested Kenyans to pray for him and the country as a whole, encouraging leaders to listen to the people, emphasizing that the will of the people must be respected. Binadabu wanaweza panga mambo mingi lakini iko mungu minguni. Muendelea kutuombea. Muendelea kuombea nchi yetu. Sijui kama tawezekana tulichagulua na iwa tuyote, tufukuzo na watu wachache. Iyo ni, iyo ni haki kweli watu ya embu. Na diyo mimi na mshukuru huyu mjumbe wenu ugetonga mkunji. Alipiga kura. Alipiga kura. Alisikiza watu ya embu vile wanase. Ata huyu dabuwenu alikuwa meandika barua. akakuja embu. akasikiza sikiza waetu. Haka pinduka. Haka fuata vile wananchi wanafanya nini. Kwa sababu si zote ni watu ya kuchaguliwa. President William Luto, who was expected to attend the event, boycotted it and instead participated in a service at AIC Milimani Church, continuing his silence and avoiding commenting on the issue of Gashagwa's removal from office. This comes after the High Court on Friday issued orders allowing hearing of a case challenging Gashagwa's impeachment, which will be forwarded to Chief Justice Mada Koome, who is expected to form a panel of three judges to decide on the case. Dennis Munyi. KUTV.